Hey everybody, I'm finally back into the swing of things here. I gotta fix my light a little bit. There we go. So welcome to day two of your Ask Your Guides challenge. I'm so happy to have you back today because it's really important that we all move into a, into a beautiful new relationship and a new connection with our guides. As I said yesterday, we have moved into a new frequency. We have moved into the ascension frequency. That means we are being elevated. We are being lifted up. We are rising up. And that doesn't necessarily mean we automatically know how to connect. It does mean that connecting is gonna be a whole lot easier. We're gonna be able to experience and, and feel feel the relationship with our angels and our guides. And today, I want to talk to you, first of all, just a teeny tad bit about the difference, and especially about the importance of working with your guardian angel. So it's so nice to see everybody. Yesterday, I was so tech challenged. I couldn't see comments. I couldn't see anybody. So now I just am so happy to see you from the tribe and see people I know. So what I want to talk about today is, first of all, angels and guides are not the same. You know, angels are with us. They, they, these guides are with us. These types of spiritual beings come to be with us, and they're constantly with us. They, there's different types of angels, and we're going to go over that in the next few days. But they have, for the most part, they are never in physical form. They are with you always in spirit form. And the most important angel that you have is your guardian angel. Now, your guardian angel is the angel that comes and, and is breathed in with you and kind of ushers you into your physical body and accompanies you the entire time that you are in physical energy and then will walk you back to heaven. So man, it's so wonderful to see people from all over the world. This is just exciting and I feel like your angels brought you here. So if you ended up here and you think, wow, this is wild, how to end up here? It's because your guardian angels brought you here. So what we talk about the guardian angel, your guardian angel is with you all the time. That is the one spiritual a com you know, companion that's going to be with you from your first breath to your last and will, will protect you and walk with you and oversee your journey and help you stay on track and keep you safe. Because you come into this incarnation, you come into this life with intentions, you come in with things you want to accomplish, experiences you want to have, and lessons you want to learn. And, and let's face it, we make big mistakes and sometimes those mistakes put us in danger. And so the guardian angel kind of steps in and gears you toward your path and away from danger. So if you've had a connection with the spirit, if you've ever felt like you've had a, a spirit connection and think about this and, and maybe comment on this, probably was your guardian angel. They really do show up when we need help, when we need some affirmation, when we need support, when we need to be reminded of who we are, when we need to be kept safe, when we need to find our keys because we have to get out the door. The guardian angel is definitely gonna be there for you and help you stay in the flow of your life, gonna help you and, and keep you faithful to, to what it is that really you came here to experience so that you don't fall in a hole somewhere, trip up and, and unplug yourself and, and exit before you get the full experience of what your soul intended. So think about it, have you? met a guardian angel? Have you had a guardian angel experience? I think a lot of people have. We just don't talk about it that much. We, and sometimes it's so subtle, you know, we, we, we're not sure. So the tendency is to have this experience and you'll know that you had a guardian angel experience because the vibration of a guardian angel 
just lingers. There's something about that vibration that just is, is special, that is just unique, that just touches your heart and captures your awareness in, a, in such a way that you just cannot ignore it. So I've written about guardian angels. I'm looking around where I've got to hop up in one minute. <clears throat> Hopping back in my brand new revised version of Ask Your Guides. If you haven't seen this book, you got to see it, got to get it. I talk about guardian angels and how they, my guardian angel has saved my life a few times, how guardian angels have shown up in other people's lives. So I want you to really ask your guardian angel right now, have we met? Have you ever shown up in my life before? Have, have I been so unchecked out that I missed you? Because that is something that we have to work on. The guardian angel is there. It's not like they're not there. It's that your attention is all over the place. So what you want to do is start being present. So let's just imagine right now that you are sitting here with me and guess what? Maybe your guardian angel actually brought you to this particular conversation with me. Wouldn't that be wonderful to just imagine? So think about, how did I end up here? And of course, you're going to say, well, I got an email. And maybe your guardian angel gave us the inclination to send one to you. I mean, they are very resourceful. They will do whatever they can to get your attention. And sometimes guardian angels will actually recruit human beings to help you. So maybe you run out of gas in the middle of the night in your car and you're by yourself and you don't, your cell phone's dying and you have no money and all of that. And all of a sudden someone shows up and says, I'm gonna help you and does, comes out of the blue. Maybe you're at the airport and you're, you're lost and can't find your, your way and someone shows up and just kind of escorts you to where you need to go. Couple things about guardian angels that are important. One is they, the most important thing your guardian angel does is protect you and keep you safe and on your path until you fulfill your soul plan. So often our guardian angels will show up when we are in danger or in a very uncomfortable or stressful or scary experience. So think about that. Think about how your guardian angel might have showed up or where a situation turned around all of a sudden or where you were really frightened and, and something came in either from a, a spirit realm or some human showed up to just take the edge off or reassure you. You can be sure that was definitely the work and the influence of a guardian angel. Now here's another thing that your guardian angels do for you that's really important. Your guardian angel will find a way, either through bringing your attention to a book, like Ask Your Guides, or a conversation, where someone or some experience is gonna reflect you back to yourself accurately. And you're gonna see yourself as someone who's so beautiful and so lovable and so loved. That is something the guardian angel is constantly scanning for ways to do, to get through to the confusion in your mind and let you know what a beautiful, loved, treasured, sweet, gorgeous spirit you are. So, that guardian angel is gonna send you trains, planes, and automobiles to get the message across. It'll send you books and conversations and people to tell you, and you're gonna hear it like I'm telling you. I feel like my, your guardian angels has me saying that now. That is a very, very important element of guardian angels. So whenever you are receiving some kind of positive affirmation or someone saying, don't say negative things about yourself, you're beautiful, or, or you hear something that just touches your heart and leaves you feeling good about yourself, that's your guardian angel. And also, here is another thing. When you don't feel good about yourself, ask your guardian angel. 
to come in and lift you up and clear the fog in your brain and in your thoughts and in your crazy ideas and open your heart so you can feel the love that the universe has for you, that your angel has for you. Another thing that would be real fun to do with your guardian angel is to ask your guardian angel when you go to sleep at night. And I know a lot of people right now are being really challenged with your sleeping. Waking up, feeling anxious, waking, you know, and feeling because there's so much agitation in the, in the frequencies right now. We're in such a, a frequency shift and everything's up in upheaval. So ask your guardian angel to sit at your bedside and just kind of hover over and, and kind of put a sheet of light and protection so you can let your mind rest and you can just go to sleep. And you can sleep peacefully and be refreshed. It's another thing that you can ask your guardian angel to do. Now, the important thing is your guardian angel's on duty, watching you and will intercept and intervene if you're getting into danger. Otherwise, your guardian angel just sits back and kind of is with you and is waiting because the divine support system has to be invited in for you, by you, for them to help you. This is something a lot of people don't realize. We have free will and our guardian angel, with the exception of being commissioned by your creator to make sure you get through your whole life journey as planned, and protect you and escort you back to heaven when it's time to go, doesn't interfere a whole lot. However, your guardian angel will step in in a couple of ways. For one, your guardian angel will step in when you're really in, in anxiety. Now, what about people who are danger were not rescued by their guardian angel? How does that work? Well, like I said, we all come in with a soul plan and that's a mystery. We don't know what our soul plan is, but it, but the guardian angel will hold the space for you to have the full experience. So if someone's life ended, unfortunately, in a way that, that doesn't, you know, that's shorter than we want, and it's so tragic for us, but on a soul level, they're in alignment with their soul plan. That's probably the hardest thing for us to understand because our human self doesn't want anything to end. But our guardian angel knows that with our spirit that everything is temporary. So they are here to help us have the best experience as we can in the human experience. To have the best and to complete the journey. So every day you can ask your guardian angel, thanks for being with me. Help me get the full advantage of this day. Help me get out of my own way. Help me Feel loved and confident so I don't hold back and close my heart off and get lost in my thoughts and miss my opportunities. That's another thing that's really important. Guardian angels love instructions. They love requests. Actually, all your guides do. And not only do they love it, they need it. But Really, your guides are just all sitting around saying, did you hear anything? Did you hear anything? Your guardian angel's like, well, I'm here all the time and I rarely get asked for help. So stop and, and pause right now and think, what would I like to ask my guardian angel to help me with right now? In fact, post it, say, tell me some of the things that you would like help with. I would like, I would like help with, with feeling safe and sound in my body because we're in a pandemic and I don't want to be afraid. I want to have help with my work. I want to have help with my creativity. I want to have help with my relationships and my ability to communicate. I want to, to get over any fear or anxiety or depression, which is way off the charts for so many. So there you go. Your guardian angels can, can answer and assist your request. I think it's really important to say, I want help feeling confident and full of energy out loud. I want to just feel your presence. And we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to give you some tools on how to do that. I want help with my hydration. I want help with a great night's sleep. And these are the things your guardian angel will do. But you have to be attentive because how they help 
is that they'll drop an idea in your head. They'll have you maybe spontaneously turn on a piece of music or, or maybe go reach for a book out of nowhere or go for a walk when you weren't planning on one. So one of the ways in which to, to be helpable is to, as I talked about yesterday, be in your body and be, be flexible, be movable, because your guardian angels want to move you into, into the best and most ideal frequency. So if you want your guardian angels to help you, be available to the help you receive. You know, we think about, we write about, all oh, these are the things I want to, I want to be able to, to be more conscious, more discerning. I want my, my diet to be right. I want to, I want to get my, my creative work out there. I want to start writing instead of getting in my head. I need help from the angels to heal something. Your guardian angel is taking notes, but let's pause for a minute and say, well, am I helpable? Do I pay attention to the signs? So let's all take a pause. Your guardian angel's taking notes. They are hearing you. And I love Shelby, for example, that you said thank you. That's part B. Thank your guardian angels in advance. You know what that is? That's a vote of confidence. That's to say, I'm thanking you because I know you're going to help me. I'm thanking you because I know you're going to help me. I trust that. Now I have some in, in my book. So listen, I want to show you this again. I just love this cover, by the way. My guardian angels helped me get the right cover for this book. I prayed for that. In my book, I have some transmissions. These are, these are guided meditations that I did, that I was guided to create for this new version. They are free links. In, and one of them is to connect with your with your guardian. So I feel like it can help us get in the right mindset and can get in the right um, consciousness. So you have to drop in, open up, take a breath. And when, here's what we do. We did this yesterday, I wanna do it again. Take a breath in, exhale like you're blowing out candles and empty yourself of all the head chatter pulling your belly to your spine, breathe in and fill it up again from the feet up. And yes, Kelly, new version of the book, updated and full of great new stuff. And then let out a deep sigh. Ah, do that right now with me. Breathe in, ah. And I want to tell you that as you do that, you create the space and the awareness to begin to feel the frequency and the connection of your guides. Now, if you're getting, and, I, and if you get messages from your guides, you have to act on them. If you get impulses, don't ask yourself, what's that about? What, what, explain, I need a reason, just say yes. So this is what's gonna get you well connected with your guardian angel quickly. When you get the hunt, the hunch, the aha, the, the feeling, the notion, the bright idea, say yes. Whatever comes up and check in your body, is it here in my heart space? Say yes. And you know, when you breathe and exhale the way I've taught you, your mind chatter stops. Ah, then smile. Because when you smile, you pull the curtains of your heart um, open and then you can feel. So I saw a monk guide walk into my office two days ago. Absolutely, but you know what? Here's the thing. Your guides come and come and come, but it's like, hey, I'm here. I'm helping you. You're ignoring me. So one of the ways that I want you to, to start paying attention to your guides to say, thank you for helping me and I'm gonna thank you in advance and now I'm gonna pay attention. So we have to practice getting out of our heads because when you are lost in your thoughts, you're not paying attention. You can be lost in your thoughts. You don't hear anything. You don't see anything. You don't sense anything. 
So just for, you know, a couple minutes every day, I want you to just stop and do the breath. And remember I taught you yesterday, rub your hands to wake up and begin to feel subtle energy. And imagine yourself ask right now, just close your eyes and say, okay, guardian angel, are you on my right side behind me or are you on my left side today? Are you above me? Are you behind me? Where are you? Write it down. My guardian angel, and just take what comes right away. My guardian angel is there. So what comes up? Trisha says behind. What? Who else? Mine says back right. See, you do know. Where else? Am I left behind my shoulder, behind me? See, once you start noticing, you keep noticing. And you say, thank you. Thank you for being here. And then, here's what's fun. You can give your guardian angel a name. You can give your guardian, like you give your spirit a name, you can give your guardian angel a name. And my guardian, my spirit's name is Bright Light and my guardian angel's name is Bright. So bright light and bright, we're bright and bright light. And it's just a way to create a conversation. So have fun, it's your guardian angel. You can give that an angel a name and then you have more connection. So how fun, Ruth Ann, I love it. I love it, feel the angel and then say, thank you for being here. I'm gonna pay attention to you now. I'm going to pay attention. I am gonna listen. I am going to listen to you. And here's something else that can be very fun. Ask your guardian angel to give you a gift. And then just be open. Don't say what gift. That's no fun. Ask your guardian angel to give you a gift. Just say, I'll, and when I get it, I'll thank you. So in the next 24 hours between now and day three, you're going to get a gift. Isn't that exciting? Because the guardian, angel, all the spirit guides and guardians love to give gifts. But we have to ask. We have to ask. So you can feel the energy. It makes you smile. Then you say, okay, I told you what I need help with, but I'm up for this and everything. Now here's a prayer that I say every day. Holy Spirit, move me this day. Move my mind, move my thoughts, move my words, move my body, move my emotions in the direction of my highest good. And the good for all I can do in the world this day. Move me to do my best good for me and for the world. And then you say, and guardian angel, you help me. Help me do that. Help move me. Give your, your angel direction. Help move me in the direction of my highest good. Be, give me a nudge, give me a sign, give me a gift, get my attention and I will pay attention. So the last thing I wanna say for today is set your alarm on your watch or on your smartphone for, to ring every two hours for the, you know, not during the night, but during the day until we talk again. For the rest of today, if you're in that part of the world or next period of daylight. And every two hours, I want you to breathe, sigh, ah, smile, and then say, hi, guardian angel. Thanks for helping me today. I'm open for the signs and the gifts. And if you got one, say, thank you for that gift. Thank you. So that's gonna be our little, our little lesson for today. You know, we learn best in bite sizes. But again, if you haven't gotten a copy of Ask Your Guides, I have to tell you, you have to get it. And even if you have the original, this one is for now. This one is for now. And it has these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channeled meditations and transmissions that, that help you ascend and restabilize you in this new frequency. So, Cardian Angels, thank you for bringing this, this beautiful group of us all together. This has been fabulous. So here it is again, ask your guides, you want it with the red cardinal. Birds are beautiful symbols of spirit guides. And you'll find that the new guide book is very, very rich and very relevant to today and has a beautiful frequency. So you'll wanna have it by your bedside. So everybody, thank your guardian angel. 
Thank you for being here. Sorry I've ignored you. Sorry I forgot to ask you for help. I know you're sitting around being bored out of your mind. Give yourself a hug and imagine that your guardian angel is giving you that hug. Now, one more thing. Let me remind you. When you are being told you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're lovely, don't think negative thoughts. Be nice to yourself. Positive thinking, value yourself, love yourself. No, for sure, that for sure is your guardian angel behind the scenes. Working hard, sending everybody your way, sending every messenger, emissary, ambassador, everybody your way to remind you of what's good and true. You are beautiful. You are fabulous. You are such a bright, gorgeous, lovely, beautiful spirit. And you are so loved and lovely and loving. So everybody, I hope this helps and we'll have some fun with it. Maybe you can write to me, tell me what gifts you got. We'll talk about it tomorrow. I'll be back at the same time. We'll come back and I have fun stuff to talk about tomorrow. Breathe, feel, smile. Thank you. High five. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, everybody, all my love. Thanks for tuning in. Get your copy. Ask your guides. Bye. Bye. Bye.